Heading into 2019, there are a bunch of huge games that still don't have release dates. Some look very small in the rearview mirror, while some will undoubtedly see firm release dates next year. Here's a rundown of the biggest question marks. Even though Cyberpunk 2077 is theoretically playable from start to finish, there's still no strong indication of when it will actually come out. It was absent from the Game Awards, and CD Projekt Red's CEO Adam Kaczynski said that the team is striving for a Red Dead Redemption 2 degree of polish. And you know, that game took eight years to develop. The Final Fantasy VII Remake was originally announced at E3 in 2015, and instead of receiving continual updates and assets since, we got, well, radio silence. Director Tetsuya Nomura has said that while it had moved beyond conceptual stages, it was announced too early. Will we see it at next year's E3? Look, if I've learned one thing about this game, it's not to get my hopes up. We last saw The Last of Us Part 2 at E3 2018, and though we got a fairly meaty look at the vision for Naughty Dog's sequel, we've seen nothing since. Naughty Dog tweeted that it will show off more when the time is right, but without a PSX this year and Sony's decision to abstain from E3 next year, who knows when that'll be? Halo Infinite might have been announced at 2018's E3, but we're still a way off from getting an actual release date. Considering it utilizes a brand new graphics engine called Split Space and hasn't been announced for 2019, we can make an educated guess that it will launch alongside the next generation Xbox, codenamed Scarlet, in 2020. The Coalition's second mainline Gears of War entry is well into development, but we don't have a release date beyond a vague 2019. Considering its strong showing at 2018's E3, however, it's likely in good shape. We haven't heard much about Metroid Prime 4 since it was announced at E3 in 2017. Nintendo told Mashable that there are internal expectations for when it will be released, and promised it was well in development. So far, we've only seen a logo. It's sort of hard to believe that Hideo Kojima's fever dream, Death Stranding, is playable, but it is. At TGS this year, Kojima said at the moment he's at the phase where he's holding the controller the whole day, embedding new elements while playing the game. But honestly, who knows when this is coming out, or if it will even exist in our reality as we know it. Todd Howard has said Starfield is in production and playable, but it's a next-gen game, so we won't be seeing this until at least 2020 when Scarlet is a reality. Bayonetta 3 was announced at the Game Awards in 2017, and we've heard nothing from developer Platinum Games since. The studio is particularly busy, however, with World of Demons, Babylon's Fall, and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink also in the works. Let the team take their time. Elder Scrolls 6 is another next-gen game, but it's going to be after Starfield. This one is going to be on next year's list, too. Respawn's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order doesn't have an official release date, but prepared remarks from EA at the end of October strongly suggested it was slated for a holiday 2019 window. Coupled with the release of Episode 9, it's going to be a Star Wars heavy Christmas. Don't hold your breath for Ubisoft's Beyond Good and Evil 2 before 2020. Though the studio recently dropped a pretty hefty gameplay video focused on augments, vehicles and co-op, the crazy ambitious game likely won't be receiving a public beta until the end of 2019, so it's going to be a long while until we get our hands on the finished product. Eh, what's a couple more years? That's it for our roundup of big games without release dates. While you wait for them to come out, check out our rundown of all the big games that got delayed this year, our discussion on the worst games of 2018, and all of the unexpected 2019 games that we just can't wait to play. Mm -hmm.